welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here what's up my name is lisa definitely make sure you subscribe today i'm going to show you how i edit my instagram photos i was actually planning on turning this into an igtv video but i was like let me just do it on youtube i've been getting so many questions about it so yeah that's what i'm going to show you today it's honestly really easy as of lately i've just been using a couple of different presets and tweaking them to like fit the photo and literally that's all so yeah let's just go ahead and get into it so I'm going to show you how I edit four different photos. One of them is like an outside photo, kind of like golden hour. Um, and then two of them are mirror pictures. And then one of them is just like in front of a white wall kind of shot like that. Those are like my most common photos, I guess. So I'm just going to start out with the outside golden hour shot. Um, if you follow me on my Instagram, you would have seen this photo. I actually use Emma Rose's presets. I purchased them actually quite a while ago and I was using them in combination with some like other apps but as of lately it's been like my favorite thing ever her presets are so good if you're going for like more of a natural look I love how it enhances all the colors and just like I don't know they're literally the most perfect presets I've ever used and like I've used quite a lot of presets and try to make my own but these are just like so perfect I have tweaked them a little bit to kind of like fit my um my photos i guess my skin tone whatever so for this photo um she has a preset called golden hour which as you can see looks really good but i have um kind of tweaked it and saved it as a preset called greens because it's kind of like it's kind of for photos when there's like green in the photo and it kind of brings back the blue sky as you can tell it makes the greens a little less orangey her preset kind of takes out the blue color but i like to kind of bring it back in those photos so i'm not gonna obviously give you the exact details of like the presets because you're just gonna have to purchase them i didn't make them myself that wouldn't be fair but um yeah all i've just done is gone into color and mix and then i just kind of bring back the blues because in the golden hour preset you can tell that the blues are a lot this one like the saturation is like all the way down almost like halfway um so yeah that definitely makes a difference but yeah so i use greens which basically is golden hour but with the blues kind of um, more saturated so yeah that's literally all I do for golden hour photos like super easy super quick for mirror photos she actually has a preset called mirror selfie but I have also adjusted this a little bit I'm not exactly sure what I did but I'm pretty sure I just kind of tweaked the oranges and the yellows you can kind of do this like depending on like your skin tone because I feel like the darker your skin tone is sometimes it can look a little weird so I tweaked that a little bit but something I also like to add um, when I'm doing when I'm posting a mirror photo is I go to detail and then I go to noise noise reduction um, and I put this up quite a bit because it kind of just smooths out any of the grain that you can get sometimes um, I don't like how it looks especially in mirror photos sometimes it just gets this like grainy look yeah it kind of smooths that out and also kind of does a little bit of smoothing on your skin and then sometimes like in this photo I feel like my concealer looks a little white um, because of the yellow so I'll bring up the yellow a little bit like you can see the difference that makes and it also kind of brings back the color in my sweater but uh yeah that preset is literally so good for mirror photos and then adding the noise reduction and then kind of tweaking with the color sometimes it's gonna make the perfect filter for your photo and then we have another mirror photo and i pretty much do the exact same thing for this so i click on mirror selfie um with this one i actually want to bring the saturation up like pretty much all the way again maybe kind of like that and then again I go to detail noise reduction just kind of smooths it out and you can always go in and like make the photo brighter if you want pretty much like that like that's is that not the most perfect preset ever like I cannot explain to you love that that looks perfect okay so that like you see how easy it is like I barely have to do any editing which just saves so much time and then lastly we have this photo which I have to do a little bit more work on um let me show you so I go for natural light this is pretty much like the preset that I use on every other picture that's not a mirror selfie or golden hour but as you can tell um the lighting is quite dark I look kind of washed out like there's like not a lot of color so first thing I'm going to do is up the brightness 
and up in the brightness and Lightroom just is like such a great option like I feel like most apps when you up the brightness it looks kind of weird and you get like really washed out but with Lightroom it's like such a great option and then I also want to go in and just bring back that saturation like that and then with this one I also add a little bit of noise reduction just to smooth everything out a bit do you want to do anything else um, you can also play with the whites and stuff, but usually I kind of leave it for what it is. I feel like that looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit brighter. Yeah. So before and the after, and you just see like how that brightens up your photo. Sorry for the noises. It's quite busy outside. But yeah, that's basically the natural light preset. And I'm just kind of tweaking it a little bit. I feel like with every photo, I have to do a little bit of tweaking, um, which is understandable because like not every photo is going to be the exact same lighting yeah that is that it's literally so easy like i don't spend a whole lot of time editing anymore let me just go through my instagram feed real quick and see if there's anything i can show you that i did differently okay so for this photo and the second one i have a like sparkly effect on the photo and it's turned into a video so for this i use the kira kira plus app and you can see like I'm filming right now this basically adds a glitter to you can also do like other filters but I always just do the Kira Kira so this one now it's all the way up you can bring it like down to there or something and then if you save it as a photo it'll just be like a photo with the sparkles and if you do the Kira Kira graph it's a video so the sparkles will be like moving I love using this app you can also use the app snow for this so with snow if you go to effects no not yet effects and you do this one you can also get kind of the bling effect snow is a free app so if you don't want to pay you can go for that one and again you can save it as a video if you want to they have a couple different things they also have some cute filters you can put on there like glitch and stuff really cute um but i feel like the sparkles on the kira kira is like the prettiest as you can tell um you can also kind of do it in here if i'm doing like a collage photo i use the app layout i made this one with the layout app which is just from instagram you can create like collages um I, it was taking me forever to find a collage app that wasn't paid because i just wanted to like put it in a collage because i was doing it in photoshop before and it was just like too much extra time but the layout app from instagram is great for like collages and i think it's cute to like put multiple photos together like this if you like i don't know just change it up on the feed um that's pretty much it like that's like all i use to edit every now and then i go into facetune sometimes i want to like delete something or like fix something real quick i do tweak my face every now and then just you know kind of perfect it i'm not gonna lie like i definitely do that sometimes but you guys also see me in videos so like it's not like i make myself look like a different person in my photos but sometimes there's just like little things that you want to tweak or like a piece of hair that's sticking out that you want to get rid of just to perfect the photo but in general like i don't change too much about my face and face too but my main app really is just Lightroom and the Emma Rose preset so i'll leave a link to them down below they're very affordable and if you are into the kind of photos and aesthetic that I have or even that Emma has like just very natural clean kind of almost looking like a no filter photo I would definitely suggest her presets and as for how I take my photos usually my mom takes them for me or I just set up my tripod and pose and just take them like it's I don't do anything special but if you want to be able to take your own photos I would suggest just getting a tripod with like a phone attachment and getting maybe like a little remote for your phone or just using the self timer like at this point we can do everything by ourselves like you don't need someone to like take your photos but it is easier so that is pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and of course subscribe also turn on my post notifications so that you'll be notified every time i upload a video and definitely also follow me on my instagram if you want to see daily content of me because i post on there every single day um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.